This may seem like any other lock, but what you don't see is that the body has been machined away to expose the internal mechanism. And yes, it does work. So what I'll be doing today is going over each individual part and how it works to form the lock. So if you ever wondered how a lock works, I hope this video highlights the basics. These are the most obvious parts of the lock. You have the body, you have the locking mechanism which is made up of springs, pins and the tumbler, also known as the plug, and the shackle which is probably the most characteristic part of the lock. Now starting at the bottom you find a spring and the purpose of the spring is to push open the shackle when you unlock the lock. You probably notice this that the shackle springs open every time you unlock the lock, that's because of that spring. Now moving on to what is probably the most important part of the lock and this part makes a lock a lock. It's called the tumbler or the plug. Now usually the plug has about 6 holes at the top and in each one of those holes has one key pin and this is what it looks like close up. So here you can see how the key pins pop up through the plug when the key is pushed in. You may have noticed these pins as well and these are the driver pins. They have a spring behind them and they basically drive themselves into the plug preventing it from turning. If you use an incorrect key or don't push in the key all the way, the driver pins will push into the plug and prevent it from turning. You could also have the key pins push too far out of the plug and this will also prevent it from turning. All of the pins need to meet at the shear line in order for the tumbler to turn. You may have also noticed this pin, it's a bit bigger than the others and there's no hole for it to go into the plug. This is called the retention pin and it prevents you from pulling out the entire plug assembly when you pull out the key in the wrong way. And finally, this is the locking bar. The locking bar latches onto the shackle and prevents it from springing open unless the plug is turned using the correct key. Here you can see the locking bar moving with the plug when the plug is turned. And here is the complete movement of the entire locking mechanism. I hope you enjoyed this video. Consider liking and subscribing and checking out some of my other videos.